Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. I'm heading out early in the morning for a session with Sean, but before we get out and on the water, I thought I'd just introduce you to the rod combos that I'm gonna be taking with me for this session. So I generally carry at least three combos in the kayak, boat, wherever I'm fishing, and that allows me to switch up presentations, techniques, and that sort of thing throughout the session. So what I'm gonna try and make an effort to do in this video is talk to you about the different combos and why I'm changing them during the session, because we often focus on the lures and don't talk so much about the rods and reels and that that we're fishing with. So the three combos that I'm fishing, the session we're doing, we're gonna start on some deeper edges, three meters, four meters of water, and then work up virtually into no water along the edges. So I'm gonna kick things off with that TT Rods Black Mumba, three to six kilo, 30 size reel, 10 pound braid, 10 pound leader. And that three to six kilo rod allows me to punch long cast and work this three eighth ounce jig head effectively. So I've got a three eighth ounce big eyes jig, jig head there with a three inch minnow. So that combo is perfect for fishing those heavier plastics along those deeper edges, especially with a bit of flow. As we get up more into the shallow stuff, I'll change it up to the two to four kilo black mamba, 20 size reel, 10 pound braid, 10 pound leader. And that's because I'm dropping down the jig head weight. So I'm going to a quarter ounce 1.0 in a TT Lewis Demons with a two and a half inch Slim Swims. And so that's that two to four kilo um, black mumba is perfect for casting that lighter presentation and working it effectively. And then when we get into the really shallow stuff, so sort of under a meter of water, I'm gonna be able to pick the pockets in the weed and that sort of thing. And I love fishing the Ned Rig in that situation. So then I change it up to a lighter combo again. So this is the black mumba one to three kilo. 20 size reel, six pound braid, 10 pound leader. And I dropped to that lighter weight combo because I'm fishing a 1 10th ounce TT Lewis Nedlocks with a 2.75 inch TRD Bugs from Z-Man. So that lighter presentation, lighter combo allows me to, to work it and shake it really effectively and punch out those long casts with that lighter braid as well. So there you go. That's the three combos I'm gonna be running. I'll try and talk to you more through the session about when I change them so that you can see what we're doing and the different techniques and that sort of thing. And hopefully we can get stuck into a few fish as well. All right, all the best with the fishing. Cheers. Yeah, it was weird. I was in amongst a school of something there and um, there was a there was a few boils around my lure. It was really strange in there. I wonder if he, yeah, I wonder, um, I wonder if he had a go and then he missed it and then he had a go again because there was a big boil up behind it, eh? Yeah. Oh. This way, dude. <laughs> yeah, there's me lure. <laughs> There's a flatfish. That was nearly disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In, listen, he's not as impressive as, as yours, but a flatfish, no less. A flatfish. And he ate the six inch darters. And a six inch darters. On a 3 0 demon. Yep. Is that a 3 8 3 0? Yeah, 3 8 3 0. Yep. So that's the second flatty that's eaten your darters today, eh? Yeah. Beer, beer run colour, cool colour. Alright, so we're just going back over the snagged plastic and hopefully, yep, it come yeah. off the other side. Good tip for getting your lure back, just go back over where you brought it into the snag, go back over it, and flick it off. Bit of bait flicking around. Just working along up along this edge, so the current's coming back this way, we're working up into the current. Casting ahead of the drift, well ahead of the boat, bring it back with the current flow. Just hitting the bottom and then hopping it. A fish that I did get really wanted more of a shaky sort of, not the solid two hop, just more of a shake and wind and then a pause. Had a couple of goes and then nailed it. 
I can't believe the I keep catching up on I think I'm I think I'm oh I've drilled it is that the little trev no it's a nice flatty that was the same thing up in amongst the bait again and and it and it rattled it a couple of times same thing didn't didn't connect hey I'm worried it swallowed the whole lure because I was on the pause Kind of muscle him in a little bit. Come on, buddy. He's not a giant, but he's he's a solid little fella. Boom. Yeah, that's man. awesome. Oh. He that's a well conditioned fish. It's beautiful. Solid flatty. Had a couple of rattles before it drilled and it was right it was up off the bottom when it eventually ate it. I'm trying like I'm fishing a, a shakier, more shaky retrieve yeah. than a solid hop because they're just funny eating, hey? Yeah eating it a bit weird. He took it solid in the end. That's probably my favorite sort of presentation for fishing in that couple of meters or deeper. Z-Man three inch minnows, three eighth ounce, three oh big eyes jig head. So <laughs> the old Z-Man 10 times tougher last egg is awesome. I actually picked that up off the floor of my shed and tied it on ready for another session. I think this was one I fished out here a little while back and caught a, caught a few fish on as well. So there you go, that's a nice little 49, 50 centimeter fish. So yeah, good eating size, Flatty. Put a bit more scent on this guy. Looks like a little potty mullet, so I'm just putting a bit of mullet on it. It's always been a favourite, favourite for a lot of people that mullet procure. Put a bit on each side of the plastic, slide it down to the end. That's got real ground bait in it, but it's also got amino acids, bite stimulants, UV enhancement, all the cool stuff. And that's a purple death colour, so it's actually a UV reactive plastic, and I've got a UV reactive head as well, so they're not going to miss it. I'm full blinged. Oh, you're joking. That was the same sort of thing again. That is bizarre. I had a couple of taps on the wind, and then when I paused it, he ate it. Beautiful. Uh, uh, <laughs> nearly climbed out. <laughs> fish off <laughs> 45 there's another perfect eater if you did want a, a flatty for dinner oh, oh sabotage <laughs> shallow a bit shallower now i'm gonna slimmy it up all right so we're out of the two three meter mark and up into the 1.2 so i'm going to throw a slim swims might be a big brimbo down there as well or a sweetie or something like that. Got a midnight oil cold slim swims. Gold demon's head, quarter one oh. Everything eats it. Get it in around the edges. We'll just hop it, shake it back with the current. Give it a chance to get down on the bottom. Hey. Feels like a rock. Stargazer. 
Oh, he's woken up. <laughs> it's, the, uh, it's what you wanted. <laughs> Nicely done, mate. Nice. Sitting, sitting in the middle there, that one. We got went with the change up to the smaller placky light ahead in the shallows, and that guy scoffed it. Beautiful. That's a nice fish too, be mid 50s probably, yeah. 50. Send him back. Oh, there's some rough leader along that leader. Oh, it's up high up on it. Up here somewhere, probably where I was stuck in some rough stuff before. Yeah. It was an interesting take. He was laying on the bottom and he, as I hopped it back, he would have been looking into the current. And as I've hopped it back, he just picked it up. Then he didn't react for a bit until he started to feel a bit more pressure on him and then he got angry. Then I'll send you back, mate. There you go. Go back and terrorise some bait. So there you go. He hasn't chewed that too much down there, but back up my leader here. There's a rough spot up here. Could have been from pikey's earlier or something, but we definitely don't want to yeah, don't want to risk that one in case we do come across the nice fish and pop it. So we'll trim that bit off. Put it in the pocket here to dispose of later. Tidy him up a bit. That's another one, so I picked him up off the floor of the shed as well so he's got a few dings got a few cuts and bruises but being 10 times tough elastic he'll keep going he's caught a few pike this morning as well for bait so it doesn't look the prettiest but in the water swims really nice so we'll tie our 10 pound leader back on i'm just going to tie a locked blood knot give it you know, five or six turns down through the loop back through the loop then I just grab it with my teeth that little tag moisten the knot and pull it tight and we're ready to rumble a lot of bait flicking around over there now might be just brim hunting the edge Oh, there's a rattle. Oh, skipping prawn. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's on. He's on. That thing's fast and angry. Where are you going, buddy? What are you? <laughs> oh, what are you? Yes, <laughs> What are you? Snapper. You've just done Grunter. The... Trev. Trev. <laughs> yeah, he was in amongst the bait, so it's probably a Trev. Yeah, little Trev. Grunter? No. Nah. The little. Oh, nice, solid Grunter. <laughs> Grunter. Oh, Grunter. He was cranky, that guy. He doesn't want to go on the net either. <laughs> Beautiful. That's a nice grunter. That is a sick grunter. Oh no, I might have to take him home because... Yeah, grunts is a nice Oh, one. because if I show that grunter on video and don't take it home to my wife, I'll be a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry Lee loves a grunter. That was solid. So that, that was that bait that I flicked to. The, there was a bit of bait stirring up and that was what... That was what was stirring it up, this nice grunter. So he is a spotted. Hey, Sean. Yep. <laughs> yeah. They're hard to tell apart. I, I struggle with it. Yeah. So he's a spotted. So he needs to be 35 here yeah. in our area. So he's illegal. Well, you should be able to see it up there somewhere, dude. There's a barred juvenile. And there's a spotted. There's a spotted. Oh yeah, so he looks like that guy. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. Tough fish to pick at times. So he's 
yeah, nice grunter. Ate that slimmy. Not to be mistaken for a broom. Yeah, and oh yeah, that's right. That's a lot of people. Yeah, get uh, keep these when they're too small because they think they're a brimbo. But you can hear him grunting. So that's one sure sign he's a grunter. But he's a different shape to the brimbo. Oh, he nailed that. That's brilliant. And he hit the afterburners too. So we're gonna we're gonna take him for a feed because my wife loves grunter. They're a really beautiful eating fish, very white meat. So he's gonna come home for dinner. That was cool. There was a yeah a few patches of bait getting harassed, and then there was a prawn flicking across the surface, which is even more of a call to get your lure in there. That was awesome. All right, we've come up into the shallower water. So we're up into sort of metre, 1.2 metres, even under a metre. So I've switched to the lighter combo. So this is TT Rod's Black Mamba 2 to 4 kilo, 20 size of Pixel XT. And I've got 10 pound Platypus Pulse X8 on there. And I'm still fishing 10 pound litre because in here it's, you know, flathead, could get tailor, any sort of thing. So 10 pound gives us that little bit of security. There's a bit of bait flicking around. So the fish are eating weird today. We think they're probably fairly full of bait. So just slowing things down a bit, shaking it around a bit more rather than the aggressive hops. And hopefully we can get a couple more to eat. Yep. In that bay again. Hi, my name's Sean. I just stand here, <laughs> filling, uh, filling segments. Oh, it's only a little fella. I'm the net guy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just happens like that sometimes. I think Gav, it always happens. One of us just gets into one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That fish hit and then nothing. And then I worked it a bit more, and then it hit again. Then I had good weight, and then gone. You didn't get that final jag in. Oh, what was that? That felt solid. Bet that was a grunter. Oh, and I probably pinned him too. Damn, 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 that was solid. We'll just fish up to him, mate. Oh, no, no, no. You yeah, just hit no. it again. You just eat it, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There's another grunter. Oh, might be a flatfish, no? Grunter hunter. I went back to him, went back to the same spot where he'd hit it. Oh, Brimbo. Oh, he's not even giant. He feels giant. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah. Oh, he's legally, he's solid, but I thought he felt giant. Yeah. <laughs> and he clunked at that other time. I missed him, missed him, went back to him, got him. Hey, not a bad brim. Oh, it worked for him. That was cool. So he had a couple of clunks at it, and then I went back into the same area where he'd clunked it, and I got the same clunk again, but that time we got the hook in him. Wonder if he's got any mates. That was pretty cool. This black mamba 40 ton Toro rod. Dead set, it's, I can just feel everything. So it's helping me drive that lure in a way that the fish want to eat it. And on cue. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's all good, mate. Yeah, it's helping me. That that feeling through this Platypus Pulse X8 braid and this 40-ton Toro carbon blank on this rod, I can just feel what the fish want. Rattle it, rattle it, rattle it, you know. Not a monster, but good fun. Send him back. See you, buddy. He was even lazy on the release, that one. He was just like, yeah, see you later. Yeah. I'm already eating, dude. Yeah, I'm full.
Yeah, just that feel, hey. Yeah. Oi! Final. Was that boil your strike? Nah, better out than that. He's the same size as my dude, hanging out together. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Fish on. <laughs> Took a while. Oh, yeah, that was a good clunk on the paws. Benno's on. <laughs> Toadfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another one. On. Flatfish? Yeah, I think so. You on the net? Yeah, actually. Right, Fish on! Woo. Thanks, man. No problem, eh? Purple demon head? Purple demon head, watermelon. Watermelon red? Yep. Slimmy? No. Nah. Grubs? Grubs. Go the grubs. Oh, Curl time. Oh, See you, buddy. <laughs> All right, point eight. We're now shallow enough for the Ned Rig. Well, the shallow Ned Rig work, which I love picking the pockets. Alright, so I'm going to Ned this weed edge, I can see, and Ned these pockets. So, Ned Rig rod. TT Rods Black Mumba 1 to 3, 20 size of pick saw, 6 pound Pulse X8 braid, and I'm still fishing 10 pound leader because I'm scared of getting bitten off by a big flatfish. All right, I'm gonna pick this edge with this TRD. TRD bugs 2.75. Shake it around a bit. Oh! Yep, oh! <laughs> Not a pikey, is it? <laughs> I hadn't checked my drag on this reel. I've got Hollywood drag going. Uh, like a Flatfish. Flat Only a little fella, but pretty cool. On the Ned Rig. 2.75 inch TRD bugs. Scroffed it. Just such a cool little profile for this shallow, weedy, broken weed and that. Just looks like a little crab. See you, buddy. There we go, our little dancing crab. Awesome little plucky. Yes. Yeah, that point looked awesome, hey? Geez, that thing's... Oh, no, it's right. a stingray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. oh, no. <laughs> On the light gear. Did he eat it or did he jag it? <laughs> That's a... Decent ray as well. Oh, you got him. You tapped at, him out already. Look at where I've got him. Oh, you've hooked him in the tail. <laughs> Wonder if you're going to see that back again. He's a decent ray. <laughs> and then in the morning, the tide comes back into your boat. Oh, yep, there we go. Ned rig. Flicked it up on that edge. 2.75 inch TRD bugs in the deal. <laughs> and it is the deal. It's getting the bite. Getting the bite. What are you, buddy? Oh, you're a nice little lizard. Need a net or are you good? Uh, no, I'll just swing him up and in, but he's, yeah, he's a decent lizard on the Ned Rig. Yeah, out of the swingage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably shouldn't lift him in with the one to three black mamba, but anyway, he's in. 
Sometimes it's got to be done. <laughs> Sometimes it's got to be done. Great little profile, that 2.75 inch bugs. You know, we're, out, we're in around these weed weed edges and there's lots of little crabs and other critters around. And these guys, yeah, he's, you know, he's just scoffed that. The deal and that 2.75 inch TRD bugs, he, he has whacked it. He'd be, he'd be illegally, but I'll send him on his way. Lucky today. Yeah, he gets a reprieve. There you go. That thing sits up and the Ned Rig sits up off the bottom. All those little claws and things floating around or whatever. Like Sean said in the past, he reckons it looks like a, a bit like a baby squid, which I reckon it does, yeah, especially when, you, when, you're, when you're flicking it, it hey. Quick. Yeah, it looks like a little squid flicking. So it doesn't matter, you know, whether it's a crab or, or a squid or whatever it is, it doesn't matter, the fish eat it, so that's cool. Yeah, it looks like a squid, eh, when it pulses in the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we went exploring new water, we just ran out of it. <laughs> uh, yeah.